The opposition candidates of Somalia have forwarded that they will continue the anti-government protests and called on their supporters to attend in large numbers. They also condemned the federal government for disrupting peaceful protests on Friday and used life politics. The Council of Opposition candidates said they will hold accountable all those who were involved in violating what they called a peaceful demonstration in Mogadishu and recounted they will continue these peaceful protests until free elections are held in Somalia. The Council of Opposition presidential candidates had called for a mass protest against the country's president, whose constitutional legitimacy expired on 8th February, though the federal government troops later dispersed them citing the country's COVID-19 measurements of banning large gatherings. Somalia Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble on Friday condemned anti-government clashes in Mogadishu and said his administration will not tolerate armed protests a few hours after fierce clashes between government security forces and those loyal to opposition presidential candidates in central Mogadishu.